Okay, so this is a 4S 3P configuration as it currently is. You know, you could have a BMS on a plate here and then shrink wrap it, put some connectors, and you're good to go. But let's say that battery goes bad, you take the shrink wrap off, the BMS off, and, and here you are. So instead of having a bust off nickel, by the way, I developed a proprietary tool to do this, but I, I noticed that a, a 3 quarters inch drive works perfectly fine. So, you can see the nickel connections in there, or sorry, <laughs> you can see the copper connections in there. Okay, and as you can see, this is not the side that's connected to the other pack. So let's turn this around. That's going to be this one. I'll put some sort of indicator on there, that way people know which one's positive and negative. Okay, and as, as you can see, here's our, here's our braid right here. So we're just going to go ahead and grab that out. The braid's usually a little prettier. I've used these a couple times. Okay, so now those packs are no longer connected. We can completely separate it, and we'll continue to disassemble this pack. So let's take off all the screws. Now you could probably separate the halves before removing the braid, but, you know, safety first. Sometimes they're a little flat and hard to get to, so just be careful. There we go. Okay, debraided on that side. Let's go on this side. And this side has one of these. Let's take that out. This side's got, there we go. Here we go. Okay, great. Now our pack is freed. Because there's no screw tension pressing these apart, these are real easy to get off now. As you'll see on this one, the screws are holding it on, so you're not getting that off of there unless you try to break it. Okay, so let's take this off. There we go. And then now we have easy access to our cells, folks. Uh, if I wanted to make this like a, a 3S pack, I could simply do this. There we go. And then put this like this. Do the braid connections and put a BMS. It's pretty much infinitely configurable.